My name is Cortilla and today we're going to solve the All Might Prime problem. But before I begin today's question of today is what is the formula for calculating primes between zero to x? So so now let's solve now let's solve the problem. So a number is called Almost Prime if it has exactly two divisors. So so for example, 6, 18 and 24 are almost prime because 6 have divisors 1, 2, 3 and 6, but 1 and 6 aren't prime. 18 has the divisors 2 and 3 again, but 1 and 18 aren't prime. And 24 has the divisors 2 and 3 again, but 1 and 24 aren't prime. So all of them has have two prime divisors. But 4, 8, and 9, and 42 are not because 4 has one divisor, 8 has, so 9 has one divisor, 2, and 8 has, so 8 is 2 times 2 times 2, so it has only one divisor. So you need to find the amount of almost prime numbers which are between 1 to n inclusive and that's the output so for example if the input was 10 then the output would have been 2 because 1 1 is never what 1 is never 1 has only one factor and then 2 2 is a prime number 3 is a prime number 4 is not almost prime and then 5 is a prime number and 6 and then 6 is almost prime so you add that on how about 7 7 is almost prime because it's a prime number not almost prime and then 8 has the divisors yeah yeah 8 is already shown on here and then 9 is already shown on here and then number 10 that must mean that number 10 is an almost prime number because it has 2 and 5 added factors so the output is 2 and I don't want to count to 21 so that was the problem and so this is how I solved the almost prime problem I first created a prime function using Siva fractions to calculate all the prime numbers to, to create a list from zero so to create a list and it's one if it is a prime number but zero if it isn't. And then I created a prime factorization function which basically which basically prints out the prime factorization and then i i put the main loop where i went oh, where i went in the range from zero to all the way to n plus one n plus one because 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 range does so if you put n in range, then it goes from 1 to n minus 1. So it's exclusive. That's why you need to add that plus 1. Okay, so now I I did this. You equals to learn prime factorization of ISDF. I did that so that I could find the all the factors of the number. And if the... And if the all the factors, and if the number of factor prime factors is two, then I add one to k, and then in the end, after after i is n, then I print k, and as you can see, it passes for all. I mean, all twenty three test cases. Oh yeah. So that was how to solve the uh, so that was how to solve the almost prime so that was how to solve the almost prime problem.
and for the answer of the for the question of the day. Wait, first the question of the day, if you forgot, was what is the formula for calculating prime numbers from zero to x? So the answer to the question of the day is it is the prime so it is the prime number theorem and the prime number theorem states that or the number of prime numbers between zero all the way to x is the same as is the same as x divided by divided by log of x but I think that's including the negative prime numbers because every time I try that in Google it it always prints out double the answer. So so what I think is I think you should divide that by two to get the actual number of prime numbers between zero and x. So that so that was the answer to the question of the day. Okay, and, and the time complexity of of this code is so. I'm, so I'm doing a loop for for o of square root of n times, and then this is a square root of n times. I think so. So in total, it creates n times wait no that's not right see what fractive terms is there at n log log n well let's just go into prime factorization function so in here i'm right so first of all i'm creating this and i'm and i'm doing this function which finds the prime factors and that is o of log n and and by the way, this is taking all of n log log n. So in here, all of log n, or all of n times all of log n is all of n log n. So in total, I'm doing it in in n log log n log. So in total, I'm doing it in n log n times actually. Bye bye, see you next time.